Hi again, welcome back to the Fun Factory. We're doing a bit more work on the fuselage at the moment. We have cut the cut the cowl out with a renovator. That comes off. And now front end of this thing. So we've got a ring in there that's been um, set in there when we join the fuse. Into that goes the um, battery box, batteries in here and fuel tank. So that's a, a complete unit. Yep. See all that? That just slides in there and will be held in by the same six bolts that hold the motor. So the motor is a complete sub-assembly. So that goes in. And, and then three mil metal firewall, aluminium firewall. Aluminium firewall. And then six M6 bolts hold this and the fuel tank to that ring that was set in the um, fuse when we joined it. So that'll all go in there like that. And then uh, uh, hold that down. Power goes over the top. And spin it on the front. So, a little work to go yet, but that's how we're heading. The exhaust that we've just printed go in the sides here. And then while all that's in there, the radio board, which is now substantially finished. Show me the back of it. bit of tidying up and whatever to do but that sits in again as a sub-assembly so that's where the wings plug in batteries plug into those this goes forward to the um, ignition and the throttle servo and the two plugs here will go down to the rudder elevator tail wheel and tail wheel retract servos so right now we're putting in a mounting plate in here which will hold where the wings go in there'll be the mounting points for the front two bolts of the wing and the two rear bolts will be going here so all modular sub assemblies modular things just um, go in as units come in and out it's not all wired in there permanently yeah so you can work on the bench yeah onwards <laughs> and we've also been doing a little bit more work on this wing the right wing that came out so the little bit of trimming started on the back edge the trailing edge here Cut out the cut out the clamshell door there. So the clamshell door has a, an inner piece. This is a finished one off another model. It's like a 3D shape, and so that's what we cut out. That's just the floppy skin that's come out of there. And then we lay up another piece inside its own mold which gives this thing then solid structure. It gives it depth, still extremely light. It's two skins, but extremely light. What we used to do was put a live hinge in here with um, peel ply, and then we'd just cut this, and this would then hinge like you know, um, an aileron, like a live hinge aileron. That sort of worked for a while, but um, it's, it's a high, impact area you've got the exhaust blowing across it when the doors open it's in the wind it moves a lot um, if you have a hang up you know, any sort of wheels up type landing this is the first thing that cops it so not not overly successful long term the live hinge 
We did go to Dubrow type hinges um, with pins, so it was removable. And again, sort of worked, but not overly robust. So the latest thinking is, like most things, make our own one. So what we're doing is making our own um, piano hinge, half mil aluminium. Cut it out on the CNC, so that'll half mil from Bunnings. <laughs> half mil of Bunnings aluminium. Um, that'll go in there, and this will be sandwiched in like that. Um, and sunk down obviously one and a half mil and that will become the, um, the hinge for the gear door for the clamshell door so you're going to put little holes in it so that when we glue it in yeah there's a few um, bit of work to work out how to mount that properly but yeah we've got ideas so that's a work in progress yes we got so that's um, the, gear the gear doors so about to start um, masking and painting on a lot of them, they have that, uh, what is it, like a stripe metal thing? shiny piece. Like a stainless panel. Down the centre. On the inside of the gear doors. So that one obviously doesn't have it, but that's what we'll do. We'll do a chrome um, we'll do paint job in there. Chrome paint. So that's this afternoon's job. And then there's the inner gear doors. So while, the, while we're painting, we'll just do the whole lot, just paint the whole lot and they'll be all ready to lay This is the outer gear door. That's the outer gear door, so it pivots back here. And these are the um, moulds for the inner part of that, so that'll be in there. Yeah, 3D, 3D gear doors basically as well. Yeah, three dimensional gear doors, so you can keep them really light but then give them strength as well. Um, so once the wing's been trimmed like this, we can get into the trailing edge. So things like the um, flap servo, aileron servo, can now be installed. This is the RDS, very different to a lot of servo installations. So instead of being an arm that, that works uh, on a push rod, it's rotary. So this adapter fits on the top and the thing rotates. So that goes in, so it mounts perpendicular to the hinge line. So that's how that goes in. Yep. So we have another, it's already made, yeah, the mount's already built in with the internal. Yeah, get onto yeah. there. So that's how the ailerons, so once we've got ailerons and flaps made, we can do the installation of all that. Just flip that over and show these. The a little bit of bling. The Mustang has gun ports, so we've been printing them on the 3D printer, the SLA printer. I don't know if that's a bit hard to see. Being bit hard to see. They get inset into the, the fairing in the wing. That's that's worked all right. It's better than um, some, but we want to bling it up a bit since it's Patsy's plane. We, we've got to. Um, Apparently going to town on it. Why don't I ever get any bling? Well, this, so, <laughs> we're gonna... so I guess you do. Here's your plane. We made a set of these for the um, Corsair we made a year or two ago and made them out of aluminium um, on the mill. They look like brightly they, polished. They looked awesome. They really look... um, schmicky. So we're going to try and do the same on this, make a set of polished aluminium gun ports at Patsy's special plane. <laughs> That's the most bling I get. <laughs> you get a Mustang. I get a Mustang that's better than bling. Um, yeah, so um, you'll keep going on the fuselage, doing installation, and I'm about to start masking and painting up some gear door, uh, inner gear door moulds, and uh, we'll keep going from there. I've only got six months. <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone's coping. <laughs> okay, we'll catch you soon. Bye.